Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will be implementing the follow and unfollow functionality. So let's go to the code and see how that is implemented. So on the handle click, uh, if we are following the user, then we call the unfollow function and otherwise we call the follow. Now to see how this function is implemented, um, the unfollow function is calling the follow method from the profile and we are passing the username and the same for unfollow un unfollow and to see the follow and unfollow we have to go to um, agent.profile.follow so that is in the agent.js so there you go so we are making a post request on the profile slash username slash follow and for the unfollow we're making a delete request uh, for the same uh, uri so um, now let's go to the real world GitHub API, uh, repo and see the API spec so that we um, so that we know what the endpoint returns. So as you can see, both follow and unfollow uh, needs the authentication and it returns the profile. And profile is basically uh, we have seen this before. It's the username, bio, image, and following. So uh, now that we know uh, what uh, API to make uh, let's go ahead and start implementing this so before we go ahead and do that let's fix the um, href on our um, article uh, preview so currently we have uh, we haven't done that so there's no way to click on the user so to fix that we have to add the again we're going to use the reddit front end easy the href method and uh, the routes slash profile is the routes and let's go ahead and do that and for some reason this is not working um, why is this not working so as you can see uh, we need to add the href both to the image as well as the username so let's make sure we add so here we have added it to the image, but let's make sure that we have added to the username as well. The author, the username of the author. So let's see what's inside the article state because for some reason this is not working. So if you inspect the article state, and if you look at a single article, it seems that we don't have the username. So that is the error. The username clearly exists within the author uh, map. So um, this is the reason why it was not working. So we have to use, uh, we have to call the username from the author. And we need to change, the, change it on line number 10 as well. And hopefully now if we refresh the page, Let's save it and let's also remove the username from the destructuring and let's refresh our page and now hopefully everything should work. And um, if we click on Jerome, it should lead us to the profile page. So yeah, so next is implementing the, the toggle functionality. So um, let's go to the profile namespace and we are going to declare a function called follow and this function accepts a single argument the username which is a string and let's go to the um, so yeah it's going to be a post request on slash profile slash username and follow um, so to implement the body uh, we're going to be implementing a post so we can copy one of the implementation from here um, let's copy the let's see yeah let's copy the me function and we will basically modify this function to suit our needs so let's change the uri should be profile slash username slash follow and instead of get we have to use the post function 
so far so good and also this is an authenticated request so we need to add the token on the header so currently the get auth header is implemented within the auth.clgs namespace so what we need to do is we can copy this get auth header and move it to the api namespace uh, this way we, we are not uh, the profile namespace doesn't have to know about the auth um, so for now we will just copy it and we can refactor the auth later um, I just don't want the PR to get too big and messy so yeah so let's cop let's import the get auth header we also need to um, update the handler so since we are since this uh, method or this rest post rest returns a profile so we can use the fetch success handler which basically accepts a profile so now that we have implemented the function let's go ahead and test it right so we can use the REPL for that um, so let's say that we want to follow Jerome um, so if you click on this uh, it's returning 500 this is because we have made a typo obviously um, sh there should be no exclamation mark so if you click on okay so now it works and as you can see the follow button has changed to unfollow now uh, let's do the opposite let's also implement the unfollow function which does the opposite so again this function accepts a single argument and this time we have to import the delete function so instead of post it will be delete and everything else should be the same so now we can test unfollow right and as you can see there's a bug clearly so the uh, um, which we can so as you can see right now it works so if we um, click on follow it'll the button changes to unfollow and if we invoke the unfollow it changes to follow so everything is working as expected um so now that uh we have the follow and unfollow button uh functions working now let's use that function and let's attach it to the to the button itself so what we need to do is we need to go to the um, profile component the profile page sorry uh, and let's also import the um so in this follow user button, uh, we let's create a function called toggle follow, not flow follow. We'll, we'll fix this. So yeah, toggle follow should accept an user. Um, let's destructure the following as well as the username. So if we are following this user, then we are going to call the unfollow method the function right so let's yeah let's import the follow as well as unfollow functions and um, yeah so if we are following this user then we want to call the unfollow function and pass the username so let's fix yeah username otherwise we will call the follow function and again passing the username and with that uh, we are ready to um, let's pass this function uh, in in the on click handler right so it should be toggle follow not toggle flow so um, let's give it another property to this uh, to this button so right below the class property we will give a on click handler so we're going to register a handler so when you when the user clicks on this button this function gets invoked and we're going to pass a function um, and we're going to pass the user as the argument and now let's test it right so now if we click on so now we see unfollow and if you click on unfollow it's going to make a delete request and everything works 
however there is a bug right now in our implementation um, and it seems that so if we if we click on so now we have unfollow right um, so now let's refresh so to so see what happens the unfollow disappears so for some reason there's something wrong what we're going to do is um, we're going to play around with the the actual implementation of conduit and let's see if the problem exists here as well so yeah let's we have we have uh, followed Jerome and let's refresh so as you can see the problem is existing here as well so what we're going to do is now I want to show you something that's different so I want to show you how we can raise an issue so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the real world issues page and we're going to create a new bug report right and the title of this bug will be follow slash unfollow functionality is not working and when you are working in a real world situation stuff like this happens all the time so it's important to report it right so uh, the maintainer of this project knows that there's something wrong and she or he can go ahead and rectify this 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 situation and uh, it's, uh, we, it's important to um, write a good description as to how to reproduce this error so we want to have as much detailed explanation as possible so yeah go to the conduit main page and click on random profile follow the person and refresh the page and you will see that the error you'll notice that the error um, you'll notice that it doesn't work and yeah and now we have a description to reproduce the error we can submit a new issue let's also say that this is happening on the front end and let's submit a new issue and hopefully um, so yeah we it looks like our issue has been closed this is so we raised this three days ago and seems that the maintainer has responded so the problem was um okay that doesn't really help but i know why this is not happening this was not happening was because um when we fetch the profile right um uh, when we when we get so when you make a get request on the fetch function in line number 16 we are not passing the headers so it's always returning false so what we need to do is we need to call the get auth header so that we are passing the the token so now if we refresh everything should work so there you go so if we unfollow and follow and if we refresh we should still see unfollow button so that's about it for this episode uh, i hope you learned a lot we implemented the follow and unfollow functionality in the next video we will implement the articles component so see you on the next video